Hello everybody and welcome back to Splatoon Amiibo Challenges with me, Rock Particle Wizard. As you can see the uh, rock and pop uh, graffiti on the walls, but we're going to be starting on the ruler challenges today. So if we bring in this Amiibo here... Hey yo, thanks a bunch for summoning me here. You must be that up and coming kid everyone's been talking about. Ooh, everyone's been talking about me, eh? I could tell at a glance that you're a real challenger, and just so happens... I've been thinking up some ruler challenges myself. Want to give them a go? Hey, I noticed you've been hanging out in Octo Valley, right? Yeah, I saw you in that crazy getup fighting Octo dudes and stuff. That's when I knew for sure you've got what it takes to try my challenges. All you got to do is beat those same levels but using a ruler weapon. What do you say? I've got some rewards lined up if you pull it off. So yeah, the uh, first row is always going to be the same, but uh, the ones beneath are going to change depending on what weapon I have and whether they're actually suited. I'm not sure if uh, I'm going to have any sponge challenges or any propellers maybe? I don't know. But the uh, moving platforms definitely. So, I have the uh, hero ruler here. So it's going to be an interesting change after going through uh, 20 charger challenges. Going to uh, possibly the direct other end of the spectrum in terms of weapon types. So yeah, some of the bosses are definitely going to be interesting, to say the least. Also, I'm going to find myself doing that, getting stuck in enemy ink quite a lot. So I'm going to take out this guy like so. Yeah, range is going to be a bit of an issue, <laughs> unlike uh, the previous set, where range was my uh, main asset. <laughs> I don't like how I can just roll straight through all the crates though. Yeah, I am going to be taking more damage in enemy ink, so I think I want to get some good footing by rolling around first. And then go in for an attack. Gotta be wary of the ink levels as well. Let's just do that. There we go. Simple enough. Yep, anything around back there that I missed? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll carry on. Alright, so this one's actually straight away we've got one where range is a bit of an issue. So if we toss that behind, we just about managed to hit it. Not the easiest thing to do. Alright, how are we going to go about this one then? Alright, that one was simple enough. We can just take out this entire area down here. And then roll around this guy. I'll just roll into him, of course. I guess the... Uh, the fact that you can just roll straight into them and kill them instantly means it's not a problem if uh, <laughs> just run through all of them. Where's I going with that? Not a problem if they have a bit of a shield on. And I don't think I can actually get all the way up there. If I can, then I am doubtful about getting up there. Oh, we managed to do that, alright. It does feel speedier than the uh, the regular splat roller though, more in line with the carbon roller. I haven't shown that off yet, but it has been out for a couple of days by this point. I have quite a few uh, recorded ahead of time, so I just couldn't get you enough of splat zones, okay? Foosh! 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 And foosh! Foosh! Alright. It's official, Roller makes foosh sounds. Alright, simple enough. I feel like how I'm leaving like really wide pathways. Very useful. Yeah, I mean the movements, same as the splat roller I think, but uh, 
It's quicker to shave. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I don't even have to worry about the shields. As long as I don't go, like, head on, I'm fine. Need to refill ink a bit. Going a bit crazy with the uh, rolling. Nothing behind there. Of course, the guys are going to spawn over here, so. Got to make sure this is aptly covered. Should be alright. I've got a nice path through here. So it's just a case of push other than that. And heading back over this way. Alright, easy enough. And can I just break it instantly by doing that? Yes, I can. That's great. <laughs> Alright. It's the first one, easy enough. I tell you what, I'm not looking forward to some of the later bosses, but... I you know. Anyway, we're gonna tackle the second challenge straight away. Alright. Okay, so I do need to take out those guys before they get to me. Alright. Interesting. This bit's gonna be slower than with the charger, really. And this. Alright, that's still enough. I just get those with one shake. Oops, went it too far. Yeah, the shaking was fine to take those guys out. Okie dokie. And up here. Yeah, I'm guessing this is why these things are here. Can I even reach that? That doesn't help at all. There we go. Problem solving. Alright, here we find the octo walls. We can just uh, make some ink around them. them out. A little bit of a pain. A bit more so than the, uh, the regular auto triggers. Uh, hmm. Right. Shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> there we go. Better than with the charger. Now this bit here I can see being annoying. Especially uh, when I get to those things later on. Should be able to just do that. There we go. Don't even have to bother going down there. Oh boy, this one. Yeah, if I time my jumps well enough, I can do that. Alright. I think this one's been made so it only you can only just manage it with the chart the roller I should say. There we go. Both of those. And the armor. Actually I can see exactly how much area these guys remove. Pretty interesting. I just uh, encircle it. Or do they just uh, roam around getting everything in like a straight line? Alright, making some, uh, some weird patterns. Alright. I'm glad I can make that jump. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it's very nearly very bad. Give me those. Okay. 
and I'll clear this area. Right, that's one and two. Okay. This bit's gonna be interesting. Alright, simple enough. Oh no, one was come down here. That's not good. There we go. It's more like it. Get rid of all the purple. Is it all the purple? Alright. It should be alright to jump down too after this bit. We will uh, do that now. And we can come in here and get rid of that bit. All the balloons at once. Those guys up there. I think I took out both of them. Nice even pathway. Alright, should be good. I'm <laughs> cooking across that one on my way down. Nope, had to cut there. Alright, we'll uh, come around this way. And come on, come on, come on. This is. Alright. No! <laughs> Alright, I can get up here quickly. Yeah, there we go. Alright. It's the second one just about done. A bit annoying trying to climb those walls, but we managed to make it through. Alright, number three, octocopters. Let's go. Flying enemies also going to be a little bit of a pain. But we'll see how we do. And the, uh, some of the three exploding at once kind of overlaying each other. A bit strange, to be honest. Alright. Yeah, that's not too bad. There's a bit of armor. And... Hmm, ink rails. I wonder if I can just... There. I wonder if... There. I can't speak today. I'm wondering if I can just roll into these. Yep. Absolutely. Ooh, careful. <laughs> Don't want to be jumping out of them too far. Alright. Ow. Alright. Getting the, uh, the zombie head on me now. Getting Zuka working just as it usually would. But I want to just do this bit normally. The roller because that's the challenge. I'll just save the uh, King Zuka for later. Right there. I don't mind using it on these guys to be honest. Took out a bigger horde just a moment ago. Oh and uh, managed to uh, get some more here. Even though it doesn't really matter because I can climb up it when it's lowered. Come on! So that was enough to cover the ground but not take it out. Alright. Tell you what, I'm, I think I'm having more fun with this than the, uh, the charger ones. Weird way to grab the power red, but alright. Just racing through this. It's great. I mean, I'll take the armor. But I think I can take out this guy without. Yep. Not using the Zuka. So I may as well just save this for. Actually, I'm going to use it on these walls. Just to avoid the annoyance of them. There we go. That wall. And if I climb up here quickly enough, I can. 
to at that wall for a second. Alright, I got one shot. Used it well. The wall's covered. We can climb up. Easily enough. Oh, wonderful. Alright, now we move on to the first boss. The rollers. And for this we get the samurai hat, helmet, whatever it's called. I don't know. It's whatever headgear is part of the samurai set. We'll go with that. I'm liking this green though. Oh, and I got too far. Alright. Replica that fish dropping in there. And it's the stamp again. That really weird, annoying cry. I'm just about reach the top of that. <laughs> you just destroy it in one hit. It's great. Alright. I'm wondering if I can just roll into it in one hit as well. Um, I'm just gonna let it go and come back around and it next stamps down. And if I do that, nope. Not quite. Alright. Bit of a weird way to do that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna do what I did the first time. Alright, this one's gonna be the slightly trickier one. I have to dodge it twice. I'm fast enough to roll away from it though, just plain and simple. Again, just gonna do a bit of setup this time. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Alright, we've got the first one done. Oh, we just roll these in a circle. Oh, it's so satisfying. Roller too good. <laughs> uh, Alright. So that's the, uh, the first set done. And for that, we do indeed get the samurai helmet. And the damage up. Hmm. Alright. Well. That's uh, all for this episode. If you enjoyed, don't forget to do all the YouTube video -y things, including checking out the links in the description. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye!